Welcome to Stones RV. We're going to do an orientation of this Cougar 2022 RKS. So we got this fifth wheel hitch here. We got a shock absorber in here and it has the road armor suspension. Under here we have the cable that will hook up to your towing vehicle, breakaway cable. Make sure that there's a charge in your battery when you're hooking up your breakaway cable. Under here we have two docking lights which are on the front. In the front storage we have your full-size spare tire and your battery. This also has a battery disconnect so if you're away from your trailer say you're leaving for the week you're only doing it on weekends make sure just to kill all the power to your trailer you may be leaving a light on in there you know clocks drain bad or drain power another little light right there the switch this is equipped with two propane tanks and there is a valve in here that will show green when it is pressurized in the system when this uh, when this propane tank runs empty there's a little switch above that valve that you just switch over turn on the other propane tank and get the empty one filled all right on this side of the pass through storage got lots of lots of uh lots of room it is uh equipped with inverter prep if you decide to go with a bigger solar package you got your power cable there here you'll see that it has the 200 solar package right now and that will trickle charge your battery it also equipped with auto leveling system so with this you just push power try to get your your trailer as level as possible before you do this and then just basically hold auto level and it'll just take a few seconds to auto well a few minutes to auto level your trailer so while that's happening i'll show you this wet bar in here we have a light which is can be set to motion sensor you got your outdoor shower which comes with your hose you have your winterization and your bypass heater. Um, got your city water connection here. You have your black tank flush here. You got your black tank valve and a gray tank valve. And all your cables and hoses can run up through this little spot right here. You also have your key TV hookup it's already wired for satellite so if you get a satellite dish on the roof you don't have to run any wires and you also have the option to hook up another outside solar panel and all that will just run up through this this little hole here I'll just leave that open here is your water heater so this is run by gas and electric Make sure that you have water in your water heater before you turn it on to check to see if there is water in the water heater. Just lift this little valve there. You can see that the tank is full. Down below, you're going to see one of the dumping stations here, one of your sewer tanks. So there are two on this. This one is for gray and black. And there's one towards the back. You'll see that right there. And it also has, that's a gray tank, and that also has the valve there. So when you're hooking up and doing your black tank flush, when you have your hose hooked into that uh, connection, you're gonna wanna make sure that your valves are open before you flush your tank. So when you're flushing out your black tank and your gray tank, you're also going to want to uh, pull your black first, and then you're going to pull your gray second, and 
make sure that they're closed uh, when you're finished so that no gases come up in between uh, in, up through your, uh, your, your sinks and your toilets. Uh, you can see here I'm emptying the fresh water tank. Uh, that's a fresh water tank empty valve there. Here is where you're going to store your septic hoses. There we go. So your septic hoses will go in there. So you're going to need two septic hoses into a Y and then the Y uh, is going to connect another hose into your septic uh, bed or at the campground. Let's see. Here we have the fresh water connection or fresh water tank. This is actually what I'm emptying right now. So the hose doesn't exactly connect to this. You just set your hose in there. And as you're filling it up, once some water comes out, then you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna know that it's full. So when that is full, that is when you're gonna use your water pump. If the tank is empty, you don't need to, uh, don't turn on your water pump. Here you have a ladder to go up on the roof. So it is a fully walkable roof and you want to get up there and check things out make sure that there's no debris you want to check all the seals up there uh, just you can get up there you can clean it off you can condition it uh, very important to do here you're going to have your power cable so this is a 50 amp unit so this is uh, we run 30 amp here so this is a dog bone which will be supplied with the trailer in case you're at a campsite and you only have 30 amp power you got your rear tail lights, which are also backup lights. Uh, here is your, uh, this goes into the back of your, your fridge and freezer. This is for condensation. So if you need to get in, in back there to do any work, you can get in through this panel. Here you'll have your, uh, your exhaust for your furnace that can get quite hot. You got a hitch here. This hitch is not for towing but you could put a bike rack on there or a generator, uh, maybe have a grill or something that can uh, hook into there. Up top, you got some more lights and you're also ready for a backup, uh, backup camera. Moving along to this side here. You got a little bit of a storage compartment. here we got your outdoor shower so it's great to have if you're gonna you need to wash off uh, wash off the pets uh, the kids whatever so you're not tracking anything into the into the trailer here is uh, the exhaust fan hood uh, it, just want to click that open when you're using it and when you're traveling that just snaps right back in place So you can see that the trailer is leveled. It's always good to have something underneath those jacks. Uh, obviously, if you're on on certain ground that uh, you know, like grass or gravel, it's not super stable. So just make sure you put something under that. Moving along to this side, you're going to see on this slide out we have two outdoor speakers. And the real nice thing about this unit is we have an outdoor kitchen. So you got. Nice size fridge here. You got an outlet on the side there where your fridge is plugged in. You got two cabinets and a light here that on the center of this light just clicks on and off. You got a GFI plug there. And you have the outdoor grill. So this outdoor grill will connect with this cable. And this is going to extend all the way down under here to this rate, this little connection right here. It's a little bit dirty with oil, but that will snap right into there when you take this off. Like just like that. And to release it, just push it, push that. It comes out. It 
This stores stores away in there. Moving down this way, you can see underneath the awning here, you have your outside LED lights. Got an outside 110 plug. And the side of your pass-through storage. There's your power cable. There's the in-command uh, panel. That's the brains to the, uh, to the unit. You got another plug here. So any plug here with a yellow uh, inverter outlet so if you extend on your package and you got like the 400 watt package then uh, it'll run those plugs for you so on this side is your second propane tank alright we also have these solid steps these steps tuck away nicely into the unit. And you can see on these feet here, depending on the level of the ground that you're, you're putting them down to, the pin comes out and these just adjust. And goes back in. Snaps right in. Let's go inside. Let's take a look. All right, so we're inside the uh, the unit, the 29 RKS. You're going to see here we got a nice double base sink, and you have a little spray handle that comes down, extends. This covers over for a little extra counter space. Here you got your standard microwave with a turntable. Here is your hood fan and light. Here is your three burner cooktop. So it's covered by the glass. Do not turn on the burners when, uh, when the glass is down. Don't try to cook on the glass. It's tempered glass. It will, it will break when it heats. So to use the burners, your propane, your propane is going to be on. You're going to turn on the uh, on the set burner that you want. Just give it a little click here. Burner comes on. It's a great way to get the air out of the lines. You'll notice here on the burner that when the burner is on, you get the red light. Even when the other lights are on, that will still turn red. To turn on the light in the oven, push down to number two. So you have your oven here, and to light the pilot light, you're going to use the oven uh, dial. You're going to turn it to the flame. You're going to push that in, and then you're going to click there, and you're going to hold it for about three seconds, five seconds, release, pilot will stay lit, and then turn to the desired temperature. When you're trying to uh, get this lit in the beginning, uh, it could take up to about a dozen clicks. This one actually took me 15 times to get this one going because it just needs to get the air to the line, but it will start. Over here, you got some USB plugs and a switch, which will turn off the lights on the ceiling. This is another light with a push button in the center to turn that on and off. Here you got your fridge and freezer. So this is run off gas and uh, electric. So to turn this on, you're just gonna hit the on and off. You're probably gonna wanna leave this on auto. So this is gonna run on electricity while you're plugged in. And when you're not plugged in or you lose power, it will automatically go to gas. So to open these, you just have to pull on the handle here. Open that up, you got your fridge. Here's your temperature control. So the lower it goes, the warmer it is. Up a little bit higher to get the cool. You can set that temperature how you like it. Got a couple doors there for storage. Little pantry, fit a lot of craft dinner in there. 
On this side you have your dinette table with four chairs. You have a light switch that will control these four lights, which are also set on a dimmer. As you can see, we have black oak lines throughout the trailer. And they're just on a spring, so if you just pull down on those, they'll come right up. You got two recliners. These recliners are equipped with heating. So there's little buttons here on the side. It has a USB port too, so you could uh, charge your phone if you need to. So this button here, that will give you heat. This button here will give you vibration. And the button on the bottom is going to give you a light just underneath the seat, underneath the footrest. And to extend this, you, there's a little pull tab there. Just pull that out. Here we have a sofa that will turn out to a bed. Super simple. You're just going to lift up on this, extend the legs down. And the backrest folds down like that. And just to put it back, just follow the opposite way, put the legs under, just fold it, put the cushions back in place, got another light here with a push button, it's moving over, you got your television, this is a strap so when you are driving just make sure you keep that over the over the buckle so it doesn't damage your television this television also will extend out and rotate push right back in down here we have the fireplace electric fireplace so you have your power button there you have different uh, levels of light different colors and flame. So if you want some heat coming off this, you're going to push this button here, set to 74 degrees right now. That's going to put out some heat. If you want to adjust the temperature, it'll just go up to 82 and it starts at 64 and it'll just climb up. If you don't want heat on it, you just want it just blowing some air, just turn that heat off. And if you want to set a timer, it'll time up for one hour all the way up to eight hours. And to turn it off, just like that. So moving over to here, we're going to show you the in-command system. So we get the in-command system, you're just going to push the power button. So on the bottom here, you're going to see your battery level. You got a, you're able to turn on your water pump if you have water in your onboard storage. You got your water heater here if there's water in your water heater tank and then you got your interior lights so you can just push that there for and up here you're going to see the levels of your fresh tank your black tank and your two gray tanks and uh, to get in your passcode on this will be one actually be four zeros so this takes us to the screen so we have our HVAC system so there isn't a front AC in this so we're just going to move over to the rear so right now we do have the air conditioning on and so it's on cool, fans on high. This is where we set it to, 66 degrees. The zone is 71. It was 76 when I turned this on, so it is cooling the unit. If I want the heat, I just push that mode button and we get heat. The gas source, or the source is gas and the fan is on high. This is where I would set up to probably about 71, 72, which is a good, uh, nice average temperature and if I hit it again that's going to set it to auto so with auto you can set your desired temperature and it's going to heat it up or cool it down depending on the temperature that you set and there we go mode is off and that's going to shut everything off in a couple seconds now we have a schedule uh, if you want to schedule things to start and stop 
you're just going to hit that little clock button. This is where you're going to set your temperature and set A. This is where you're going to set what time you want it to turn on and off, or turn on. And this is when you want it to stop. And we do not want to save that. So coming back here, we're going to go to lights. So we have the bedroom lights here. You can turn on and off. We got your ceiling lights. And then this is your outside awning light there. So these are your slides. So you got your wardrobe slide that's in your bedroom. Right now it's extended out. Just make sure that when you're using your slides to extend them all the way out. And also when you're getting ready to travel, put your slides, slides all the way in. Uh, you got your dinette slide here, your entertainment slide, and then you have your awning. So if I wanted to put the awning out, I just hit out and that awning is starting to go out now. So you want to take that awning out to the point of, you see a little flap come down. You don't want to put it out all the way or too far and keep pushing because it'll, just like that, it'll start to retract uh, on itself. Also awnings are, are, they're a great way to get some shade from the sun. Uh, if it starts to rain pretty hard, uh, I would take your awning in. And if there's any kind of uh, strong wind, definitely take your awning in. And if you're going to be away from your trailer for any amount of time, just, you know, be safe and take that awning in. You never know when a big gust of wind is going to come by and do some damage. And there we go. All right, moving on up. We're in the bathroom. Here you got a porcelain toilet with a foot flush. So when you're getting things started and you're all hooked up into your water, you're going to want to fill your toilet up just below the, the holes there, probably about, I guess, three quarters full. You're going to want to flush that four times and then drop your chemical in before you start using your toilet. You got glass uh, shower doors, has a little latch there to, to lock them in place. And just make sure that you lock those in place when you're towing your trailer. I uh, got a skylight, uh, GFI plug, your little light switch is right there above that. You do have an exhaust fan, so you just twist that open. And there is a little switch here in the corner that's going to turn on the fan to exhaust any, any uh, steam that the shower is creating. Lots of storage under here. Three drawers. Nice stainless steel sink with a faucet. And if you're looking for your toilet paper holder, it's right in here. And the door here, there's a little snap up here on, this, on the inside. And that is just going to close and hold there by magnets. There is no lock on this door. All right, let's move on into the bedroom. So in the bedroom, you do have a light switch right here. And uh, you can mount a television here, a uh, bracket for it. Your, your bed does pop up. So you got a little bit of storage under there, actually a lot of storage. And it's on struts, so you don't have to worry about holding that when you're trying to get something in there or out. Another light here with a push button. And you also have uh, you have an outlet there with some USB ports. They're on both sides. So if you have a CPAP machine or obviously charging uh, your phones, you got your wardrobe with little sliding drawers there. And you also have the little exhaust or a uh, little vent hood there and that's just a twist let some air come in so yeah that's everything with this uh, model hope you enjoyed our, uh, our orientation and have a nice day